step down, right, pick up, left, down, right, <laughs> drop, and jump to start. <laughs> so obviously this is bullshit. You are an idiot. Today I'm going to be testing whether ChatGPT is able to actually solve a pretty simple coding assignment. We are basically going to feed it one of the levels from this game. I already have my suspicions. I don't think it's going to be able to solve it because it isn't actually able to think. It can only sort of copy an already existing solution from the internet. I know it because I've already tried asking him some logical questions or to help me with some, you know, coding assignment and he was absolutely retarded in that regard. So ideally I would like to go for some of the harder levels. But I think it would be better if we started small. Maybe it could be able to help us with these optional challenges which even I wasn't able to solve. But let's start really small. This is the third, I believe, assignment in this game. It's really simple. We need to make these workers pick up these cubes and set them down between those two plants. So the code that we have is step down, pick up, take two more steps down and drop the cubes. So if I run it, they do exactly that and that's the assignment completed five commands in two seconds. That's what we want. So I have tried to formulate the assignment and give it to ChatGPT. He's supposed to write a code using a set of instructions we give it. There is a grid with people and data cubes on it. The workers cannot pass through walls, stuff like that. And the code will be executed by every human on the grid. I also told it to use the least amount of commands every time. So the first assignment is to command the workers to move a line of data cubes down by two cells, which is exactly the same wording as in the game. The commands ChatGPT can use are these. Step in a direction. Makes a human step to any adjacent cell if possible. You have to specify the direction. Pick up. Makes human pick up a data cube they are currently standing on. Drop makes a human drop a data cube they might be holding on the ground. And I've also attached the description of the grid itself, where the pipe sign means wall, H is a human, D is a data cube and X is a hole. A dot is an empty cell. So here we've got a wall at the top, then a wall with empty cells in between, then we've got the row of humans, the row of data cubes, then some empty cells, here, instead of the plants, I just put holes and then walls again. So let's try and see what ChatGPT can come up with. He understands that he's supposed to move a line of data cubes down by two cells. And he says we can use the following set of commands for the giving grid. So here is the code provided. Step down, pick up, step down again, then for some reason drop the cubes, step down again to the goal line, pick up a non-existent cube, step down again just for fun and drop the cube you are not holding. What the hell is that? So I had to clarify that there is only one line of data cubes, the people are supposed to pick them up, move them and that the data cubes do not duplicate in any way because it seems that ChatGPT has simply cloned the data cubes. He thanked me for clarification and finally managed to fix the code. So now it's got the same code as we do. Step, pick up, step, step, drop. That's job well done. So me being optimistic, I wanted to try a long distance delivery, the very next level. Here the workers are supposed to again take the data cubes and bring them into these holes. We are supposed to drop all the cubes into the infinite pits and the humans as well. So what we do is take a step to the right, pick up the cubes, and then just keep walking right. Because the humans will eventually reach the holes and fall right into them with the data cubes in hand. Four commands in six seconds. Lovely. Now, can ChatGPT write this very simple code? Only four commands. Come on, that's gotta be easy. So I've specified another assignment. All humans and data cubes must fall into the holes in the grid. Try using as few commands as possible. 
and again I've defined the grid. It's a little smaller than the one we've actually got in the level, but the point is the same. A column of humans, a column of data cubes, and then they've each got a hole on their row, each a different distance from the starting position. Also, I've introduced the jump command. It allows the worker to jump to a specific spot in the code, which allows us to create loops. Now let's see what ChatGPT has done. So it's created a label and then the workers should step down, check if cell is a hole. If it's a hole, then drop the data cubes and step up and jump to start. What the hell does that accomplish? So I clarified that you make a data cube fall down a hole by making a human who is holding the data cube step into the hole. You can't actually drop it down the hole. So the next iteration of code we got is this. Step down, check hole. If it's a hole, step down, probably into the hole. If it's a data cube, then pick it up and jump to start. Now, this is obviously way too complicated and way too dumb. So I clarified, you are not allowed to use any if statements. The humans who fall down holes stop executing the code. If a human attempts to pick up a data cube on an empty cell, nothing happens. So you don't really need to check anything. Another iteration, step down, drop, pick up, jump to start. What the hell? If you examine the grid, you will see that the holes marked with X are actually to the right. Not down, you nugget. Also, to pick up a data cube, the humans will have to move right as well. Use your eyes or brain or whatever the hell you're doing. So now we've got another iteration of code. Step down, right, pick up, left, down, right, <laughs> drop and jump to start. <laughs> So basically, he's trying to force the people to form a conga line and I don't know what. So obviously this is bullshit. So I again provided the grid layout to clarify. The code seems to be roughly the same. Down, right, pick up, left, down, right, drop, jump. That's again bullshit. So I asked, why are you stepping down at all? And ChatGPT realized, oh wow, I don't need to step down. So let's try this. Step right, pick up, step back to the left, then step right again, drop and jump to start. It's almost there, it's really dumb, but it almost would have worked if there wasn't the drop part and also it would have to be in a different order. So let's try again. When a human steps, they only move to the adjacent cell. Also, there is no need to drop the cube down the hole. ChatGPT understands. Let's try this. Right, pick up, down, right, down, jump. What the hell? How retarded is that? Can you complete the assignments in fewer commands? Because I actually think that one would have worked eventually, probably. You know what? Let's let's just try it. So it's right, pick up, down, right, down. Right, pick up, and then we've got down, right, and down and the jump is all the way. And it's not gonna work due to this row being here. Yeah, see, so they, they've already stuck in this position and these people are trying to move down and they can't. So let's just see if I put a few additional steps to the right after they've picked up the queue, just so we can clear the gap in the wall. Yeah, so they basically managed to fall down the holes now so they pick up the cubes clear this a little thing which i didn't mention to the bot and now they just keep going right and they eventually do fall down the holes so technically the code we got this time would have worked so i asked to complete the assignments in fewer commands this is what chat gpt has come up with step down right pick up down right and jump to start that's even worse and this time this wouldn't work at all because the top human wouldn't get the data cube. Again, the humans do not have to fall down the same hole. I thought this might help so I clarified. We got this. Down right, pick up, down right. And again it's saying step right, move right to the nearest hole. It's as if they would like keep going there. That just doesn't work. 
why do you keep stepping down if you could have the humans fall down the holes on the same row as they are? Just keep the humans on the same row. So we got another apology from ChatGPT and this time we've got step right, pick up, step right and jump to start. So almost there, but now we've got useless pickups. We just need to keep walking, no reason to repeat this whole code. So I tried. Do you need to jump all the way back to the start? Oh no, of course you don't. Let me fix the code. Step right, pick up, right, right. And that's it, no jump, what the hell? So again, this wouldn't work. In the code you provided, there is no loop. Oh, you are right. So let's try this. Right, pick up, right, right, jump to start. Basically even worse than before. You are an idiot. This can be very frustrating. Anyways, I hope I showed you guys that ChatGPT is completely and utterly retarded when it comes to actually being able to think in a normal human way. Therefore, I don't think it's really necessary to try and solve any other levels using ChatGPT because we know where that leads to. Also, it's really painful to describe the grid.